Today, you'll learn how to build a simple robot using Oracle integration. This video is the first in a two-part series. A robot helps eliminate manual, repetitive tasks by working like a person does. You just train the robot to do them for you. Today, we'll build a robot that gets the supplier name for a purchase order, or PO, from Oracle ERP Cloud. We'll complete the following tasks starting with the installation of the robot agent and the recorder plugin. Install and run the robot agent and install the recorder plugin. See the documentation for instructions. Next, create a project. A project is where you manage everything you need to automate your business, including integrations, robots, and more. Start by adding a project, which will hold your integration and robot. Then, enter a name for the project. Now let's create a robot. First, create a robot connection, which the robot uses to connect to Oracle ERP Cloud. Here you define the parameters for the connection, including the URL and credentials. A robot connection is separate from a robot, so you can update its protected and secret information independently from a robot. This separation allows for easier updates when credentials or URLs change. Now, add a robot. This robot gets the supplier name from an invoice. Enter its name and click Create. The canvas opens. Now it's time to define the robot's trigger. A trigger's input defines the data that comes into a robot, typically when the robot starts running. The robot requires a purchase order number, so the input for this robot is a PO number. A trigger's output defines the data that comes out of a robot. The output for this robot is the supplier name on the purchase order. Let's build the robot now. The robot needs to work in Oracle ERP Cloud, so start by providing its URL in the Open Browser action. Just drag in the URL value from the robot connection and choose the browser that the robot works in. Next, start the recorder and choose the application to work in. Confirm that you want to record in the application. The recorder shows that it's running by highlighting UI elements in purple. After the highlighting turns green, it's safe to select the element. The recorder captures the click and lets you provide details about the robot's action. Drag in the username for Oracle ERP Cloud from the robot connection and enter the actual username in the test value field. The recorder enters this value into the UI, so we won't have to pause the recorder to sign in. Next, repeat these steps for the password field. Drag in the value from the robot connection. Then enter the actual password. And save the action. Finally, select the Sign In button. The recorder detects the button click, so just save the action. The recorder signs you into Oracle ERP Cloud. Select the Procurement tab. And save the click element action. Then select Purchase Orders and save the next click element action. The recorder helps you build a robot simply by following the usual workflow. The next task is to open the page for managing orders. Click the Task button and save the action. Then select Manage Orders and save that action. Sometimes, when you select an option in a menu that closes, the action gets saved to the robot, but the application doesn't register the click. That happens here. But it's okay. You can pause the recorder at any time to get the application caught up. After pausing the recorder, repeat the steps. First, select Tasks. And then, select Manage Orders. After the Manage Orders page opens, you can resume recording. Next, we need to search for a specific order number on the Manage Orders page. We train the robot to use the PO number that an integration passes. To do this, we drag the PO number input to the value field in the robot action. We pass a placeholder value to the application in the test value field and save the action. The recorder pastes this value into the order field, so we can search for this order number. Save the action and the search runs. The search finds one order. We need the supplier name, so we select it. 
we change the action to tell the robot to get the value. We need to save this value to the output. This robot's goal is to get the supplier name, so we set the supplier name as its output. And then we save. Now we've built a simple robot in just a couple minutes using Oracle Integration's Intuitive Recorder. Time to stop recording. And then save our changes to the robot. We just have a few more tasks, and then the robot will be ready to run. Now specify where the robot runs and activate the robot. First, add an environment pool. An environment pool is a group of computers that a robot can run on. Next, add your computer to the environment pool. Then select your computer from the list. Then choose the environment pool that the robot runs on. Select the environment pool you just created. Finally, activate the robot. Its status changes to active. Now your robot is ready to run. To see the robot in action, watch the next video in the series. Find the link in the video description.